Hey guys, Curtis here, Tailgaters, tip of the day, 42. As you know, in 40 and 41, we were dealing with the most important shot in pool, and that is straight, your alignment. Go check those out. Once you get your alignment in, 40 was dealing with alignment, a super straight stop shot. Stop, stop. And I said in that video what I was going to do was expand on that when it's not a stop and why that's important. Once you can slide the cue ball in on a straight shot, and stop it dead, as we discussed in 40. You know you, you, your alignment, your stroke is good if you can stop it dead, but also if you can stop it completely dead, it means the cue has not picked up roll or backspin. It's sliding when it hits. So watch this little knee trick with a, with a strike. So I can accomplish the slide in many ways. I can hit it low and not as hard, or middle and harder. So, in theory, just because you put low on a cue ball doesn't mean you're going to get backspin. Because, watch, if I put lots of low, by the time it gets there and I don't hit it hard, you see how that transition and the roll? Well, that transition is the slide. The slide is going to be the key to your stop shots. So, this is going to be all, unfortunately, there's no magic pill for this. You just gotta practice and play these shots to know how hard and how the distance of following through and stopping it, and it's stopping there for slide. If it's shorter, I can hit, I don't have to hit very hard at all, I'm not stopped right there. If there's more distance, I might need to tip a low, and by the time it gets there, it's doing the transition. That's for you to work on. But here it is, tip of the day, 42, and that is learning the slide on a cut shot, what's called the 90 degree or tangent line. So when you cut this ball in, let's say this was the cue ball, and then you use the strike so I can see the slide. The 90 degree line, which is going towards here, anytime it's sliding on a cut shot, it can't stop. And this is key to the rest of your positional play. It will start down here. If it's got some top spin, it will start and roll over. If it's got draw, it'll start and draw back. But watch this exercise. I want you to start here, then move back one, and then ultimately here. I want you to do three. When you make three, meaning cut this in and slide the cue ball, in this case, the strike. When you slide this in, so I want you to do all the principles, step in, stay still, visualize it, and don't move until the 14 has gone right into the pocket. I want you to get three of them. You're going to learn that, learn that. Once you start learning that tangent line, it's so powerful. You know you'll start to see it. And once you can start to do the tangent lines, you, you can then, when you have, so I want you to move back here, because now it's a little further, but stay with this until you can do three perfect ones. Then move here. Now it's a little further. What are we going to do here? Well, either we have to hit it harder or, at, or maybe a tip lower, but that's the practice that we, we're going to visualize it. And we're going to stay perfectly still until the 10 goes right into the bottom. Okay? We do that three times. And then we go to the very last one, furthest away, obviously the hardest. You have to hit this, maybe if you, you, can, you really stroke through it, but again, it's this principle. By the time it gets there, it should be on its transition. Okay, so that's the feel part of the game. But I'm teaching you right now the concept of slide, slide. Once you can learn that tangent line, no spins, we're gonna, in the next video I'm gonna show you right and left and how you can open and close tangent lines off of rails. That's the only reason you, but incidentally, you should be using right and left, really, is to open up the angles off of the rail. There's this big myth that you gotta put right when you're not, when you're cutting the ball in. Really, that is not, that's just something that's not necessary once you're aiming and, and you're confident in stepping into the shot following through. The right and left just adds elements and really it only opens and closes angles off the rail for all intents and purposes. That's what you need to know. So the last one, what I want you to do, stick with this, visualize it, stay down, and 
until it goes in here. If it doesn't go, what went wrong? This is why it's a problem. Meaning, you have to make it. If you don't make it, you gotta shoot it again. And the other thing is, is you'll notice if you make it in the dead of the heart, if you don't, especially with distance like this, you can make it and maybe not get in here because you cheated the pocket a bit, which could change it. So you want to be perfectly straight and you want this to go right into the heart and then you visualize also the 12 ball here going right in. Okay? So you keep doing those and trust me, when you start seeing those lines, then when you got a shot like this, let's say the eight's down here, all I do is I visualize bing and bing. It's like I can see the line I, and I can manipulate it if I need to. And in this case, I don't need to. I'm using the natural tangent lines. Or I can roll over the tangent line. But the key to pull to begin with is learning the stop and slide so that you know the tangent lines. Once you start seeing those tangent lines, you will start to really play precise pool, and then you can learn if I were to play the tangent line with a one tip of left, it would open it up. One tip of inside, and that's when the diamonds can even become, become really instrumental. But first things first, learn those tangent lines and what's called the slide, and this will really be the foundation of your pool positional play, okay? Thanks a lot, that's tip number 42. And hopefully tonight, if you watch this video, it's Friday. Tonight's the Winterlink sign-up party. We're gonna have a random draw, Scotch Doubles Tournament Alive. It's only five bucks. The, we're basically the back areas for the pool players. So if you want some fun, tonight's gonna be just a fun night uh, of pool. So Friday, September uh, 10th, tonight is the Winter League meet and greet party. If you haven't signed your team up, it's this Monday we start all the different leagues. I still got a few spots in some divisions, so if you want to, to drop by tonight and have some fun, maybe find a team, we can uh, place you on a team, or join a singles league, okay? Thanks a lot, and I'll be back with 43 tomorrow.